review copy provided by PlayStation. Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Returnal. And this time I'm going to show you how to take down Ixion, the boss of the Crimson Wastes. I do not recommend entering this fight with a weapon underneath level 8. Uh, 7 is pushing it, but the reason for that is because you want to end Phase 3 as quickly as humanly possible. And you're going to find out why. So this is a three-stage encounter, just like Frike. I'm not sure if all of them are three-stage encounters, but this is what I'm up to so far. I recommend using a weapon that uh, can target or auto-track enemies, if you will. Makes things a little bit easier. Uh, it's a really big arena. There's really nothing to get stuck on. So that's pretty nice, unlike Frike, where you can get stuck on the statues. In stage one, Ixian's just gonna start flying around back and forth. He has two abilities for the most part. These blue orbs that you could easily sidestep as long as you're at a distance. And then whenever he uh, moves from position to position, he sort of puts out these gold orbs that are really easy to avoid. I don't think I've ever been hit by one. All right, so as you can see here, it's a pretty simple phase. Just stay at a great distance, other side of the arena, and you'll be able to take care of him, no problem. Starting off phase two, he's gonna drop in the middle here, and then a red ring is gonna come around. So we'll either jump over that or, uh, you know, just dash through it. Starting off the phase, you want to jump over the blue ring or dash through it. I recommend jumping over it just because there's more orbs on the way afterward. He will do this passing crazy flying uh, back and forth several times. All you gotta do is just jump over the blue ring or dash through it. That does take a little while to get used to. Uh, he doesn't always come from the same direction, I don't think. I feel like he's come from a couple different directions, but just Pay attention to the audio because you can hear him coming from a certain direction. After he's done flying around, all you gotta do is sidestep these blue orbs. You can dash if they start to get too close to you. Always make sure you're getting your active reloads. It's gonna help you a whole lot. Keep him on the center of your screen. Be mindful of your bullet travel times. And then all you gotta do is just keep staying at basically maximum distance from him. It'll make all the bullets really easy to dodge. I haven't taken too much damage here. All right, use your alt fire if you have it, and then we're going to get into phase three here in a second. So he's going to drop back down, and then he goes onto the pillar over there, and he has a vertical beam very similar to Frike, but you can kill him before it even happens. Uh, if you're unable to kill him before it happens, just keep an eye on it. And I know that sounds obvious, but just keep an eye on it. All right, so phase three starts off similar to phase two, uh, but it lasts a bit longer, and the patterns of the orbs are different. All right, so now that that's over with, get your active reload going, and then just get ready for him to start going nuts. He's gonna start charging you and attempting to punch you, and then uh, he will drop these red rings on the ground. Use any items that you have to uh, basically make projectiles into currency. There's one uh, item you can do for that. I am going to take a death here. I did have an astronaut figurine though that uh, allowed me to come back to life, but if you have any healing uh, items, try to save them for this phase. Yeah, unfortunately, the travel time and his bullets are just so fast. It's really hard to avoid. All right, so here come the red rings, and then it's followed by red orbs. He also has an aura around him whenever he does that sweeping strike. It's uh, kind of hard to see, but it's really easy to get hit by. So it's not just the ring you have to dodge. It's his whole aura around that punch, as you can see there. Yeah, it's really, really hard to dodge. But eventually, as long as you can keep up the damage and not, uh, you know, gets smacked in the face too many times by his punch, he'll go down without too much issue. And that's Ixian. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides for Returnal, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'll be Johnny Gage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.